I'm going to show you my version or variation on Thought Dot. And the big reason for it was that the idea of um, an envelope seal is not really a thing that exists anymore. So I changed it to be more modern, but I think along the way maybe made it just a little bit more impossible. But I'll let you be the judge of that. Have you ever accidentally peeked through a vortex and seen a glimpse of your own future? Weird question, I know. And in fact, you may not even recognize having done it until you got to your own future and it looked familiar. Some people call it deja vu. I'm going to create a vortex for you. And I'll thicken it up for the sake of the camera here. As you look into this vortex, I want you to see um, a playing card at the other end. It may not come to you visually, and you might intuit a certain playing card. Think of one out of a deck of 52 that's coming strongly to your mind right now. Have you got one? Don't tell me what it is, and don't change your mind. Because every vortex has an opening and an ending, an other end, a closing, I don't know what to call it. It's a tube, it's a tube. From here to there. From now to, well, I don't know when. You're thinking of a card. I want you to stop me when you see it. And we'll go through until that time comes. As long as it takes. There's nobody here in studio, so no one's gonna say, yes, that's it. I'm just going to have to intuit <laughs> the card that you're yelling stop at. And let's say it's this one. Uh, what is that? The ace. So it happens to have some uh, signature on the front. But interestingly enough, you could have chosen or named any of these cards, but you in fact picked the ace because that is the card at the other end of the vortex. Ooh, that's not bad, not bad. That is the, in fact, the only card with writing both sides, coincidentally, uh, that you saw. So that is my addition to Thought Dot.